Welcome to Mechanical Tutorial. I am going to teach you different techniques in SOLIDWORKS for mechanical engineers. I am going to train you different modules like part modeling, surface modeling, sheet metal enclosure design, plastic components design, product design, reverse engineering, simulation and many more tips and tricks in solid works. Hi, today I am going to explain how to create stainless steel U-clamp. So left side you can see the component which is a sheet metal component or right side is a forming tool so this is the component I am going to create so I am going to create this component with the forming tool so this is the forming tool I'm going to create so let's start now so I'm initially I'm going to create this form tool so I've taken a new SOLIDWORKS part file select the front plane select the midpoint line this is 120 Add this two line, make it collinear. Now we can draw on construction line. So make these two lines equal. Draw center point arc from this midpoint connecting these two endpoints this is 5 and the radius is 30 so select the extruded boss from the midplane and this is 20 and say ok so this sketch might have not closed properly so that's why I have selected the two contours it's not a problem so now select the front plane once again go to sketch select this edge and select offset and this is 2 mm and draw one horizontal line select this and make sure that it is horizontal so we have to apply the constraint dimension between this edge and the line is uh, 3 mm now we have to select the trim corner trim and select this line and this arc and this it is uh, not selecting so what we have to do move little bit inside and select this arc and this line 
still there is a problem so we can trim with the power trim so select the extruded boss and uh, it is 4 mm and say ok see here now select the fillet select both the sides and this is 1 mm and say ok now select fill it once again and this is 2 mm and say ok So apply the fillet. So we have to apply this fillet. So this is uh, 3 mm. Select here this is 3 mm see here now I am going to create these two bosses so select this top face go to sketch and uh, draw center line construction line joining the two end points so I have drawn both the sides and draw a circle at the midpoint of this construction line so it is 10 mm So make it equal. Go to feature, select extrude, and uh, the boss height is 4 mm. See, it is uh, taken mid plane. We have to make sure it is blind. See, it is. see here now we have to apply the form tool we have to select this command select this face this is the stopping face and the faces to remove we have to select these two faces so that it make whole feature see here so create a hole if I select these two faces it creates a hole so forming tool is ready so we can save this in this folder forming tool we can select any folder suppose I am going to open this folder see this is the folder so now I can do pack and go and So I am going to rename it 
as form tool clamp see it is in this folder see form tool clamp so now I am going to create sheet metal component so take I select the top plane and I am going to draw on this center point rectangle and this is One thirty by thirty. So it is a simple rectangle and select the base flange. Say okay. So it is supposed to be top plane. Select the top plane. See here, it is on the top. So select the base flange, select the sketch. So it is 1 mm and the K factor is 0.45. So now drag and drop this forming tool. So we have to po position this it has to be exactly at the center so draw one center line selecting these two corners so it is at the point center so you can flip the direction and selecting the downward and say ok now select this face, go to sketch, convert entities and remove this material. So we have to remove the normal cut, see the material has been removed now. Similarly select this face, see here. and we can go to sketch convert entity see it is converted now go to feature extruded cut save cut see here you can see material has been removed so similarly we have to remove the material this side go to sketch convert entity Go to feature, extrude cut. See here. Go to sketch, convert entity. See, this is a small limitation of the software. We don't have ready made tools, so we have to create forming tool and uh, we have to create the comp such components in this manner. So now we have to apply the fillets. So fillet is around 5 mm. So we have to select this edge. So this is 5. This corner this corner and this corner so it is selecting the face so and say ok see. see the final component is ready see here so this is how we make uh, this kind of components with the forming tool. So this is brief about uh, stainless steel U clamp using forming tool. 
so this is brief about creation of uh, u clamp using forming tool thanks for watching